assigning three. oxidation numbers. Hmm. Video three. Yeah, redox unit video three. Uh, we are going to follow the rules for assigning oxidation numbers, and there's really two. It's really easy. Yeah. Um, Oil rig. Oxidation is losing electrons. Reduction is gaining electrons. And notice I threw that electron in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. that, so that's the basic mnemonic for remembering mm -hmm. what oxidation and reduction are. Now, remember, we've been saying this over and over. If there's a reduction, there also must be an oxidation. Yeah, Simple enough. Gotta find them both. One atom loses an electron, the other one's going to pick it up. That's all there is to it. And vice, vice versa. versa. Absolutely. If there's an oxidation, there must be a reduction. But they're happening, happening simultaneously. It's not one, mm -hmm. then the other. It's a, they're it's mutual, a constant thing. Mutual and simultaneous. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So it's simple. Oxidation numbers are actually mad easy. Yeah. You just have to invoke a little bit of algebra sometimes cool. and a couple rules. Simply put, any element that's by itself in its pure form has an oxidation state of zero. Why don't you throw one of the Hofbrinkle, the diatomic seven up there too? Oh, okay. Like yeah. um, H2. Two. Oh. That zero. has an oxidation state of zero. Cl2, oxidation state of zero. That's so true. any pure element whether it's a diatomic element or monatomic elements, has an oxidation state of zero. That's confusing because you'll look up your elements on the periodic table and none of them in the zeros. oxidation number spot in the corner in the dot in the tile have zeros. No, so basic rule. You need basic know, rule. That's the yeah. fact you got to remember. If it's alone, it's zero. Absolutely. And then after that, we got to figure them out. Um, but remember, they're uh, ions are not. So if you do see an ion like an Fe plus three. It's oxidation state is plus three. It's giving it to you. Yes. So there's Absolutely. another one. That one's kind of almost so easy we don't need to talk about it. Compounds are mad easy because you just uncrisscross the subscripts to determine yeah. the charges, or I call it the charge cancellation technique. Right. And so for calcium chloride, what you basically do is you pick out your periodic table okay. and you look you start looking up the elements in the optional oxidation states that are presented. And if I'm find go calcium and crisscross, actually. Calcium, it says it's a plus two. Okay, that's great. And chlorine has like four options. But if calcium is a plus two and there's two negative ones, chlorine has to be a negative one each as well. So we're really just doing charge cancellation to sure. find out what the oxidation state would be. Uh -huh. And it's really easy for binary ionic compounds containing two elements. It's a little more complex when you get that middle element. element. Yeah, that middle mm -hmm. element. Um, sure. What's nice about this particular example is calcium only has the one choice. Yes. And believe it or not, chlorine, because we always go positive and then negative, yep. only has the one negative choice. So that one is pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Can I do the next one? Oh, absolutely. Cool. Fun, fun, fun. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we got three. We got K, M, N, O, four. So I'm going to look at my periodic table. There's some things that uh, Monaco and I have really come to know. First rule is this. Ready? Oxygen is always a minus two. Very rarely you're going to find it not be a minus two. And then when I look up potassium, it only has a plus one charge. So my total plus charges right now is one, plus some number for MN is going to equal this total negative eight. Mm -hmm. Does that sound about right? we got to get everything to add up to zero. Right. Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so set one plus seven would be eight, and then give me a minus... But, but, but. What are you talking hey. about? You messing me up? Yeah, yeah I'm messing you up. I think we should I just solve algebra. Get over on that. Oh man, hurry up because this is a long video. No, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Okay. Right, we'll start over. You talk. No, K is a plus one. Mn. We don't really know because if we look, Mn's got a bunch of particular choices. I'm telling you, O is always negative two, just about all the time. So I have a total negative eight charge. The, with the K, I only have a total plus one charge. So I need MN to be a plus value that cancels out that negative eight. Is that better? Yes. So add it all up. Do your algebra. Mm -hmm. And I got negative seven plus X equals zero. So negative seven plus seven. X equals seven. Now when I check, wait, look. MN, there it is, right? Can you see? Can you see MN? It has a choice of seven. Pick it. One of the options. Mm -hmm. Pick it. So obviously the way Monaco does it's a little bit more involved, but it shows you every ion and every charge. So the algebra bra actually works. Yeah. Milks' method is a great shortcut, but you're going to run into trouble necessarily if you have three elements involved. 
it's easy for his method if you uncrisscross things, but that's only with two elements. Right. You got three elements involved. You got to go yep. to the charge cancellation. Yeah. Method. Let's try another one. Okay. You want to do your method or my method? Um, well, I don't really do the cancellation method, but I just kind of total them up at the bottom. For me, it makes it a little faster. Okay. So he's so, going to whip out the uh, atoms here. So you got K. K. K's only option is plus one. Right. And I got two, right? So and I two oxygens. Two mm -hmm. and plus one. So when I have a... When I say plus one times one, I get a plus one, mm -hmm. and minus two, minus two times a plus two, I get a minus four. Right. And now I'm just looking for a number that gets me from this whole thing to be zero. Right. So in my brain, I say plus one plus what equals four because mm -hmm. I know I need my whole plus to be four. When I do it that way, I say oh plus three. Okay. So is chlorine got a plus three charge? Chlorine has, uh, yeah, an option of plus three. It must by necessity. Necessity. The chart doesn't show it, but that's why we have to teach you this method. Method because some of the oxidation states for chlorine don't actually show up on the periodic table. Uh, there. This is a cool one because this is, of course, the same. Mm -hmm. So it's the same scenario where oxygen is always going to be negative two. Okay. okay. And potassium is always going to be positive one. So total charge here is a plus, plus one. one. And then total charge there is a negative eight. And he's got to figure out what number to add to the plus one to get a plus eight so that the negative eight cancels. And he's going to pick positive seven, which if you look on the periodic table, that is one of the options. Okay. Sweet. So good luck there. But the first one with KClO2, it wasn't there. So you right. have to know the charge cancellation technique for it to work out. And these were great, these were great examples to show you that the same atom chlorine, different charges. Absolutely. Um, so that's what it comes down to when we're doing oxidation numbers of elements within compounds. Right. Oh, that's guess what? You can't, 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 you can't,